Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. I needed to do another short video today, as I'm releasing a rail fan video as well, so I don't have time for a full train tutorial. So today, we're going to be building another transformer, and we're going to be building Transformers Generation 1 Thundercracker, which as you can see, is just another straight repaint of our F-15 Strike Eagle build, this time in a blue paint scheme here. And this is what it looks like, so let's get right into it. And as you can see here, we've already done Starscream over there, and then Skywarp right here. And now, with this Thundercracker build, we will have completed our trio of the Generation 1 Transformer Seekers. And then we'll be on to building the Conehead Seekers, which are much more interesting. For those of you who don't know, the Generation 1 Conehead Seekers have F-15 Strike Eagle bodies, but completely made up fantasy wings, so they'll be a bit more interesting. So I am of course building this in the sky, but you can build it on the ground if you want. If you're building it on the ground, you're going to want to be on the second block up off the ground. And we're going to take blue concrete, and this is going to be the front, and we're going to do a line of seven blue concrete coming back. Then a stone brick block, a blue concrete again, and then we'll do two more stone brick blocks back here. Then on the back of this, on the upper hitbox, we're going to do a line of four warped slabs coming back. Then we're going to come up front. On the front, we're going to put an upside down warped stair. Then two polished black stone slabs. Then one polished black stone slab here. And behind this, a full line of blue concrete to the back. And we're going to come past this back slab by one block. Then one warped slab on the very top of the back here. Then we're going to come up and come under here and we're going to align with these stone brick blocks and starting on this back stone brick block we're going to put five upside down stone brick stairs on the bottom and they're going to all be facing outward here then in front of this we're going to do a stone brick slab here and then an iron trap door lined up with the slab right here then come up on top of it and we'll put a stone brick block on top of this trap door and come to the back of these stairs here. On the front, a forward facing stone brick stair upside down and then a slab. And we'll repeat on this side. So we're gonna come under here and we're gonna do five upside down stone brick stairs facing outward right here. And then a slab and then a trap door. And then a line of stone brick blocks across the top of this and on the front an upside down stair facing forward and then a slab here. Then we're going to come on top of the back with warp stairs off this block and this time we're going to do right side up inward facing stairs and do four inward facing stairs here and then turn around and four inward facing warp stairs right here. Then behind that one deep slate tile stair facing inward on either side and behind that a single deep slate tile slab on bottom here and here and then a second slab under each of those. Then we're going to do outward facing upside down deep slate tile stair here and outward facing upside down here. Then across this we're going to do one warp stair, two stone brick, and a warped. And then same thing on this side, warped on each end and two stone brick in the middle. Now we're going to come on top of the front right here, put a cut red sandstone slab, then four cut red sandstone blocks, then a slab. On the top middle we're going to put two acacia trap doors to round off the cockpit. Behind this in the middle, three warp slabs. Then we're going to come up here on the side of this and do four iron trap doors here and four here. Then behind this, we'll go to warp trap doors and we'll do three here, three here, then come one row across behind these slabs and then right down the center to the very back. Now take out black stone brick walls and start on top of the back here and do a line of six walls right here. And we will repeat on this side, so six walls up here. Then we'll do our tail fins and for that we'll take out black concrete and we're going to come one block in from the very back. And we're going to put four here, then three, then two, then one. And copy here one block from the back, four, three, two, and one. Then take polished black stone slabs and we're going to put one on the front of all of these steps. And then on the top we're going to put two slabs coming forward like this on each side. 
looks like that. And then we're gonna go to warp slabs for our tail wings. Right here, we're gonna put three. Then we'll move back here, do two. Then here, two coming back like this. So it looks like that from the top. Repeat on this side, so three warp slabs here. Then two here. And then two coming back like this. And then it looks like that. And now we'll work on the actual main wing. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna come one block in front of the polished blackstone slab up here and align with this first warp trap door. And we're gonna come out two, then a purple slab. Then back here, two warp slabs, then a red nether brick slab and a warp slab. Then one on the front here, and then we're just gonna keep coming diagonally forward with one slab each time until it meets up with the body of the plane. And then right here, a warp trap door in this corner. Then we'll come back here and put a red nether brick slab behind every single one of these and fill the rest of the wing wherever there's holes with warp slabs up here. And then we'll repeat on this side. So we're gonna come right here with warp slabs, come out by two, then a purple slab. Then two warp slabs here, a red nether brick, and a warp. Then one warp slab on the front, and then same thing. We're just gonna do one slab at a time, coming diagonally forward until we meet up with the body of the plane on this side. Then a warp trap door in this corner. Then come behind this and put a single red nether brick slab behind all of these. And then fill all the rest of the wing holes in with our warp slabs here. Just like that. Now we'll do the front landing gear, so come under here on the second blue concrete block, and we need a sideways grindstone. Behind it, we're gonna put a warped hanging sign. Then we're gonna do the rear landing gear, so take out a block of coal. We're gonna come on the second stone brick stair forward from the back one, and go here, and we need to come over to the side so it's diagonal like this. Same thing aligned with it here, come over to one right here. Then put a birch fence gate here and here, open two warp fence gates in the middle, and then we'll put a stone button on each of these back wheels. Then we have some banners to make, so we're gonna go ahead and put down a loom and come into it with a black banner and red dye. And we'll do this top triangle and another one with the opposite. Then go to white dye and we'll put a corresponding white diagonal on each of these. And then we'll place these on our tail fins. So we're gonna take this one and put one here, here, and here. And we'll repeat on this side with the opposite one. Put this one here, here, and here. And then we can take off that loom. And there we have it, folks. We've completed Transformers Generation 1 Thundercracker, our blue F-15 Eagle. And I promise this is the last straight F-15 Eagle repaint. Next time I have a day where I need to do something quick, we'll be doing the Generation 1 Conehead Seekers, which are much more interesting as their F-15 Eagle bodies, but with completely fantasy made up wings and engines. So it'll be a lot cooler to build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe.